from the Midwest. This is week now up there with Ellie Mueller and now Ellie Kung E. Mueller. Good evening. I am Ellie Kung E. Mueller. Welcome to week now update. We got a lot of stuff to get to tonight. You know, first some uh, shout outs. These are the people who have, these are some of the people who have helped me out uh, over the last week or so. Vicky Eisenstein and that's Ender Keenan, William AJ, Mayenia, Mayenia, Inya, or whatever. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. And uh, Creeper Gaming Hypixel PvP. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of you. You all have really helped me out. But obviously, the big thing that I got to talk about tonight is late night TV. Now, yes, I love late night TV, right? Now, now let me tell you something, right? It hasn't really changed much since you know, since it began in the mid fifties. Now wait, a minute. it's been the same since the nineteen fifties, and nobody has done anything about it. I mean, what the hell? I mean, I want to host late night talk show on NBC. Of course, it'll be very hard for me to do that because but. Because my old channel got the boot, and now I'm on this uh, new channel that only has about 57 or so subscribers. Now, late night TV has has been ruined lately because of one guy, Jimmy Fallon. He turned the whole genre from you know a place where you could just relax. To a farm where people can just play games until 2 o'clock in the morning. We don't need that. We don't need that. I mean, shit. It's all about being goofy late at night. Errol, you still up here? Errol, you still up here? Good. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway. You know, nobody wants to see... A guy playing games on late night TV. All right, you can get that during the daytime for Pete's sake. All right, and now here's some vital information. If you want, oh, wait, let me start. If you want to be a late night talk show host, then and start doing a nightly show on YouTube. Just don't act stupid and copy all and copy all of the late night. TV talk shows because trust me, <laughs> the networks won't like that. If you want to watch a good late night talk show, and please, for the love of feet, folks, do not watch Fallon's show. Fallon, Fallon's a kid, and he will, and he will destroy your minds. Is somebody stopping you from uh, getting what you want? Don't listen to those people. Keep on talking. If somebody tries to stop me from getting on late night TV, then please help me. Please. When you can't sleep and it's late at night, watch my show and, uh, and pig out. You might uh, regret it in the morning, but who cares? At least you're going to be happy. Now, how can I get on late night TV? I mean, let's look at the facts, okay? Barely anybody's watching this little program on YouTube. TV is dying, or, or so says a few YouTubers. A few YouTubers are stealing my thunder. I had to start all over again because of the circumstances that took place last week. And for some reason, people like Jimmy Fallon. Oh, people love Jimmy Fallon. Will I ever get on late night TV? <laughs> I don't know. Now, a bigger question is, how can I change late night TV? For more, we go to Week Now Update, course, social media and television correspondent, MP, and see what's going on. What is happening, everybody? Yes, what is happening? Thank you, Ellie. You know, Ellie Miller asked a very important question. He asked, how can he change late night television? Well, by the looks of this show, I think he's already done it. For one thing, he has no celebrity guests. That's one 
thing. Another thing is that he doesn't have a band. Another thing is that he doesn't have writers. You know, it's just him. It's just him doing pretty much almost, almost everything. He's on the internet. You know, we, even though he wears a suit and tie, he, he would sometimes go on the show with, with jeans. You know, and that is something that you don't see on late night TV. And of course, he's also put on uh, toys like me. All right, that's something that hasn't been done since Craig Ferguson. All right, of course, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Then again, I, then again, I could be right. What do you think? Leave your interesting responses in the comment section below. It's time for the question of the evening. Tonight, the big question is this. How long will it be before I finally replace Seth Myers as the fifth post of late now NBC? Also, here, to me, this. Do you think that I will become a great late night talk show host someday? And as I mentioned in the beginning, in the beginning of the program, you know, I mentioned uh, something about Vicky Eisenstein. You know, she's really funny, you know? What do you think about it? You know, I'm assuming that uh, if you pause the, this uh, show and visit the Vicky Eisenstein show and then uh, we played it from the beginning, but you know what I mean? And do you watch late night TV? If so, then who is your favorite late night talk show? All right, now, one last thing, and that's this. All right. Let me give you uh, a quick history about late night TV. All right, it all started out with Steve Allen, right? On the Tonight Show on NBC. Steve Allen invented the Tonight Show. All right, he was the first host of the Tonight Show. Then he left to go to primetime, and then he gave it to Jack Parr. Jack Parr went to primetime himself in '62. Gave that to Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson was was a Tonight Show host for 30 years. You know, David Lyman followed Johnny on. On NBC with Late Night in 1982, and the rest, as they say, was history. Folks, that's the show for tonight. I'll see you folks on Monday. Have a great weekend. That's the news. Namowski's. Farewell, everybody. Farewell.